bracelets when I was younger. I remember making so many of them to pass out to all of my friends and to wear myself. I feel like I was always wearing some sort of friendship bracelet and I was thinking about it recently and they're not necessarily my style anymore. I wouldn't really wear them now but I was thinking that it might be fun to try recreating them in a style that I would wear now like kind of make them more modern and a little bit more stylish. I don't know if it'll work out, but I want to do that for this video. Try to make friendship bracelets cool again. We'll see how it works out, but I want to bring you along. So let's make some friendship bracelets. So I want to go to the craft store to pick out a few supplies for these bracelets. But first I need to check out what I have here at home because I know I have some jewelry supplies already. So let's check that out. This is my box of jewelry supplies. So I have most of the fastenings and jump rings, things like that, but I won't necessarily need those for friendship bracelets. I also have these little letter charms that I could add. Oh, and I also have some string. I have some hemp cord here, elastic. So this is what I have. I think I'm going to pick up some embroidery floss, possibly some more beads or things to decorate the bracelets with. Lots of different embroidery floss. I have some different beads. And then I just got these two jars to store the beads in since I don't really have much room left in my jewelry supply box. First, I think I'm just gonna do a really basic macrame knot and add beads and see how that looks. And then later I might try some fancier friendship bracelet patterns. Hey guys, I just wanted to hop in real quick before you start watching the video, just to explain it a little bit because when I first started filming, I was planning on this being a tutorial for you, 
but as you will see as you watch it, things just kind of went downhill and this project did not turn out how I was expecting it to. So it's kind of more of a, a vlog of a project that didn't work out uh, and not really a tutorial. So I just wanted to let you know ahead of time. choose four colors for this next bracelet and I know I want to use this bright neon pink because I really like the contrast of this neon with like a softer color like this so I'm trying to pick four colors okay I think I've picked my colors I'm gonna do these warm peachy orangey colors and then pair it with this bright pop of neon. Okay guys, this one was so difficult to figure out. I finally started getting it towards the end, but as you can see, it's just kind of a mess. But you guys should still try this out because maybe you can do it better than me. I still really like the color, so I think I'm just gonna end it here and then braid the ends so I can tie this as a little bracelet. So I've been filming for so long, you can see everything set up behind me, but I think I'm going to continue this video tomorrow because I'm gonna run out of daylight soon and I'm just tired of filming, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's the next day, I'm in the same spot and I'm going to attempt to make some more bracelets because honestly, I'm not super happy with how the ones I made yesterday turned out. So I'm gonna see if I can make something better. I just was envisioning something a lot different in my mind and they're just not turning out as well, but let's see what I can do today. So I did this much of the bracelet. I think I'm gonna tie this off and then finish the ends with either some chain or jump rings or both. I don't know, we'll see. bracelets aren't turning out right. I am not knotting the string twice, so I think that's my problem. So I'm gonna try this bracelet again. I think that's why this one turned out so bad is because I didn't do um, two knots each time. So just read the instructions all the way through so that you don't make the same mistake as me. But I'm gonna redo this bracelet that I'm making and see if that helps. This one is going much better than my last one. I did mess up a little bit around here, but I'm getting it sorted out and it looks so good compared to this. So I'm pretty happy with this. So I kind of
kind of feel like this video was a fail because I just don't love how all the bracelets turned out. They're fine, they're not terrible, but I just had this vision in my mind of like these really cool aesthetic friendship bracelets and I feel like I didn't achieve that at all. And I honestly consider not posting this video, but I think I'm going to edit it anyways because I don't really usually show things like this that don't turn out. And like I said, I know that they look fine. It's not like they're a complete disaster, but it just didn't turn out exactly like I was envisioning. But that's just how it goes. Not every art project or craft project is going to be perfect and that's okay. We just gotta learn to, I guess, move on and not be too upset about the things that don't work out. But hopefully this video was still entertaining for you because it definitely was not a tutorial in any way. But if you do wanna make your own friendship bracelets, as I said, I'll have all the instructions linked down below so you can go check that out. And I would love to see how yours turn out. If you do make some, you can tag me in your photos on Instagram so I can see them. I'm sure yours will turn out better than mine. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.